हेलो फ्रेंड्स होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेल आई हैव स्टार्टेड विद सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोस आई विल बी अपलोडिंग इट एवरी वीक मेनली दिस वीडियोस आर फॉर द पावर प्लेटफॉर्म एंड दिस आर फॉर द बिगिनर्स यू विल बी एबल टू लर्न अबाउट एवरीथिंग अबाउट पावर प्लेटफॉर्म मेनली अबाउट पावर एप्स एंड पावर ऑटोमेट सो सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल टू गेट नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ न्यूली अपलोडेड वीडियोज एंड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो यू विल बी एबल टू फाइंड दी रिलेवेंट वीडियोज प्ले लिस्ट लिंक्स सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ टूडेज वीडियो सो दिस इज फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ द सीरीज वी विल बी लुकिंग एट द पावर प्लेटफॉर्म ओवर व्यू वी विल बी एक्सप्लोरिंग वॉट इज पावर प्लेटफॉर्म हाउ इट हैज इवॉल्व सिंस लास्ट फाइव टू एट ईयर्स वॉट आर द एप्लीकेशन इन्वॉल्व इन टू इट वॉट इज द लाइसेंसिंग रिक्वायरमेंट एंड वॉट आर द डेटा कनेक्टर्स so if you look at it what is power platform it is a no code low code platform you can build end to end solutions using this very quickly if you look at the uh, image here or uh, a diagram here on the screen it consists of multiple applications uh, it has power bi power apps power automate power virtual agents power pages and then you have data connectors ai builder and data verse of course it is not only this there are other parts also like it is directly integrated with the azure also dynamics 365 microsoft 365 and other applications so if you look at it one by one power apps is mainly graphical user interface you can create your apps and this can be used to get the data to read write the data manage the data next application is power automate which is a cloud workflow engine you can automate your task using this next one is power bi this is a reporting tool this is there since last i guess or 10 years more than 10 years uh, you can analyze your data using power bi power virtual agents this is a bot application you we can reduce the dependency on human most of the uh, sites have automated bot wherein user can just ask the query and the bot will respond to it power pages uh, this is recently added in the power platform this is actually uh, evolved version of uh, power apps portals this is uh, you can create external facing websites using this dataverse this is a cloud storage platform you can store your data in the dataverse it's similar to a sharepoint list or you can say you want sql as well sql tables AI builder is you can build your own models to extract the data from the uh, images uh, if you have a invoice image let's say for example and you want to extract the data automatically from that scanned image like which shop what amount what date and all that you can do this using AI builder now if we look at the evolution of the platform how and when it was launched what components what applications were launched when the power bi was the first in the platform which was launched in 2015 or before that but the general availability of this product was on 2015 year 2015 then we have uh, power apps which was launched in november 2016 uh, you can create the apps using power apps then we have power automate which was launched in october 2016 then microsoft launched uh, a concept called microsoft power platform which combined all these three power bi power apps and power automate which was launched officially in 2018 then microsoft added another application to this platform which was power virtual agents it was launched in november 2019 and now recently we have a new component or new application in the platform which is power pages this was launched in may 2022 as i said this was uh, this is evolved version of power apps portal which was launched uh, two years back now we'll see this evolution again in the diagram diagrammatic mode this was the first uh, uh you can say launched uh, applications in the power platform when they launched it these were the applications which were considered to be part of the power platform where you have power bi power apps flow 
the power automate its legacy name was flow it was called flow before then later on they renamed it to power automate and then you had data connectors ai builder and common data service so the common data service is later on renamed to dataverse so dataverse legacy name is common data service then this was changed to this where they included power virtual agents uh, which was fourth component and now it is with power pages and dataverse so the cds common data service is renamed to dataverse now so now we have five main components five main applications and then other uh, supporting uh, component now let's look at the details of each of the application the first one is being power apps this is the this is used for the app development you can start from blank or you can use the existing template there are so many templates available you can use it, use it to build your uh, apps you can connect to more than 300 data sources and if you have your own legacy system which you want to connect you can do that also using custom connectors you can use these applications on mobile ipad tablets or even in the browser on your laptop and desktops uh, you can use Power Apps to customize the Dynamic 360 forms or even the SharePoint list views, list forms. You can customize it using Power Apps. You can also connect to the on premise data source. Uh, for example, let's say you want to connect to the SQL database which is there in the on premise uh, servers. You can connect to that using the gateway. You need to install the gateway. So if you take look at the examples of the apps you can build leave management app travel expense app food order app inventory management you can build you can automate all the processes in your organizations and convert it into uh, the apps using power apps the next application is power automate this is used to automate your tasks this is a cloud workflow engine using which you can automate your tasks and uh, the flows can be created depending on the events it can be automated it, it can be scheduled it can be manual uh, flows there are different types of flows you can create depending on when do you want to trigger it again in this uh, flow or power automate you can connect to more than 300 data sources same as power apps this can be triggered on demand from the power apps as well let's say you have an app and you want to uh, trigger a particular workflow you can do that this is a recommended alternative for the SharePoint designer workflows as uh, it's going to retire. No more support from Microsoft for the SharePoint designers. So you have to shift or migrate your designer workflows uh, in the Power Automate. You have to rebuild it actually uh, using Power Automate. Again, in this also, you can connect to the on premise data source using Gateway. So if you look at some examples, you can send email when item is created, start approval flow, you can archive the data, move data from one place to another place. So that's you can do, you can automate your day-to-day uh, -day tasks using Power Automate. The next application is Power BI. This is, as I told before, this is a reporting tool and you can analyze your data and make the right decision. This comes with the desktop application also. It, it is handy and re really uh, easy to use when you have a desktop application instead of doing everything on the browser itself. In this also, this application, you can connect to more than different 100 data sources. Like for example, you can connect to SQL, Oracle, SAP, Excel file, even SharePoint online list, you can connect to that. You can have, there are already hundreds of visual available and you can get uh, many free visuals from the github you can use all of that if you want to build your own visual you can do that using r language this is a uh, statistical computer computing uh, language uh, which you can use and you have your own custom visual in the power bi the next application is power virtual agent uh, this is used for the bot applications. You can build your own bot and put it anywhere, like really anywhere. You can put it in the in the Facebook. You can put it on your website. You can put it in the Teams. 
so this is a chatbot you can create your own bots uh, you can reduce the human dependency and help your customers at any time 24 by 7 you can have your own predefined set of questions and answer ready you just have to go to the power virtual site virtual agent site start with the new board you can add your list of questions you can have the branching conditions and all that uh, as i said you can add it on any platform like you you can add it on your website facebook team skype power apps you can integrate this into power apps as well if you have a custom scenario uh, you can also handle that using azure cognitive service and also you can connect to the data sources and depending on the data uh, you can respond your bot can respond automatically depending on the data available in, your, uh, available in your tables so this can be really a smart bot you can build really a smart uh, chatbot the next application is power pages this is used uh, to create external facing website earlier we had a public facing option uh, public facing site option in sharepoint on premise as well as it was there in sharepoint online but then microsoft stopped that support and now you can't have a public facing site in sharepoint uh, anymore so of course you can have still have it in the sharepoint on premise version but uh, so what is the alternative then like it was very easy to create a public facing site for your customers using sharepoint so the alternative to that is now power pages you can create a public facing site very quickly there are templates available there are components available you just have to drag drop and the site would be ready this is evolution of power apps portal this was launched two three years back uh, they have now rebranded it as power apps pages and created a separate application uh, or launched as a separate application in power platform you can build low code external facing websites uh, you can connect to the dataverse which is you can use as a backend you can store your data in the dataverse and a customer can or you can create the forms wherein users can input the data or read the data which is basically connected to the data so dataverse you can have role based permission also to a specific section this is mostly similar to the sharepoint public facing site data input forms can be added plenty of templates are already available to create the uh, public facing site using power apps page, uh, power pages also you can extend the capabilities using visual studio code uh, tool you can write the code and customize the particular component now let's talk about the licensing for all these applications who can use power platform who can use each of the individual application uh, of the power platform so all the applications have their own licensing uh, most of the applications are covered under microsoft 365 or dynamic 365 licensing or subscription so if we talk about power bi this is included in microsoft 365 or office 365 uh, plan and if we talk about specific license which is efiu if you are efi license you can create share and view reports you can share your report with other users and they can view it next is power apps again this is included in microsoft 365 f3 e3 e5 uh, all these users can run the power apps e3 and e5 can create and run f3 only run uh, they can run the apps uh, also there are separate licensing available which is per user per apps licensing uh, if you want to connect to the premium connectors or custom connector similar for the power automate also this is also included in microsoft 365 plan f3 e3 e5 there are other uh, plans available also it's included in most of the plan uh, also it, it comes with the separate licensing which is per user per apps uh, per flow licensing uh, depending on if you want to connect to the custom connector power virtual agents this is freely available for microsoft 365 e3 e5 uh, 
as power virtual agents for microsoft teams plan this is a limited uh, edition actually limited plan uh, and you can have a separate a subscription as well standalone uh, pva subscription uh, when when you say pva for microsoft teams plan you can integrate your bot only on teams you can't publish it on other applications and you can connect to only dataverse for teams the last one is power pages uh, this is the licensing is based on the person type what kind of users you have external user internal user anonymous number of views number of logins depending on all these parameters are considered uh, in the licensing so you have to define the usage of your site who are going to use it how many views are expected how many logins are expected is it external user anonymous internal for internal users this is free uh, for all of these there is a free trial available you can try it for either it is it might be for 30 days 60 days or 90 days you can give it a try uh, just have a look at it each of the application and do hands on it now let's talk about the data connectors you we have seen all the applications now let's talk about the data connector where all these applications can connect to so when i say standard data connectors these are free to use that means these are already covered in the basic licensing let's say you have microsoft 365 plan any plan all these uh, there are more actually there are more than three more than maybe 50 or 100 which are free uh, data connectors um, you can connect to these without any need of any separate license for example you have sharepoint you have excel you have azure ad office 365 users linkedin twitter forms there are plenty of them and those are enough to automate your existing processes so all of these are free which is it comes with your basic licensing which is office 365 or dynamics 365 now let's see the premium connectors uh, let's say if you want to connect to a sql server which is there in your either on premise or in your azure azure sql server or let's say you want to connect to oracle database you want to connect to a sap database salesforce or Dynamics 365 or DocuSign you need to have a separate license purchased uh, either for Power Apps or for Power Automate uh, to connect to all these premium connectors so if we take a look at the example of it uh, it costs around 10 to 40 dollars per user uh, for the Power Apps or Power Automate per user or per app or per flow plan uh, for the rest of the it, rest of the applications which is Power BI, Power Virtual Agents, they have their own licensing uh, plans for the custom connectors or to connect to the premium connectors. Well, that's all uh, in this video. Uh, I hope this will help you guys. Uh, we have seen the overview of Power Platform and we have gone through each of the applications basics. Uh, what is it about what are the licensing needed what each of the application is doing how to use it what is it used for well that's all uh, thank you so much do subscribe to the channel uh, for the notification of new videos and if you have any question just put it in the comment box uh, i'll surely reply to it thank you so much for watching this video thank you bye bye